All right, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday testimony call or training call. And I want to welcome you all. And thank you so much for getting on live. Um, my name's Ashley Thompson. And tonight we have a super special guest. Um, we are on a page, um, Emerald Rockstars, and really been collaborating um, to get to the next level and just sharing ideas, which is just amazing with our sideline sisters. And Lisa has been such a wealth of knowledge that Chris and I asked her to come on our call and just see if she would share some tips with us. Um, Lisa Beard is from South Carolina, and Lisa, I think I'll just let you take the stage. Tell us your story and anything you want to share with us. Okay, so hi everybody. I am Lisa Beard and thank you for having me as a guest tonight. I am so honored to be asked um, to be on this call and like she said, I am from South Carolina. I'm from a little town called Earhart. <laughs> if you've never heard of it, if you blink, you will miss it. We have a caution light, a water tower, um, an occasional cow that crosses the road <laughs> and um, a population really and truly of about 530 people. So I work a full-time job as a rehab consultant um, for our local hospital. I um, am married to a wonderful man named Stephen and we share three awesome children together. Um, Corey, who's 18, he's my stepson. Paige is 10, is my stepdaughter and Landon is 10 and he's He's mine, <laughs> and um, they keep us pretty busy with life, that's, that's for sure. Um, my point of telling you all this is I live in a very small town, um, and if I can do this and juggle life and everything that I juggle in this small town community, you can do this plexus business anywhere at any time, okay? So your mind is a powerful thing, and as long as you believe that you can, then you will. So, um, let me just look at my notes here, y'all. Um, so, yeah, two years later, I am still getting ambassadors, still getting customers for my community. Last month, I signed nine ambassadors and two customers, and this month so far, I've signed three ambassadors and one new customer. Um, so, I guess let's just get down to business and get down to how we flex us. <laughs> So one thing that I want to talk about is social media and are your posts personal. Y'all, people are on social media because they're nosy. <laughs> I mean, that is really the honest to goodness truth. They want to know reality. They want to know passion and they want to know truth. So when you're posting on Facebook, I advise all of you because I've heard people say, well, yeah, I post on Facebook every day, but you need to scroll through your Facebook and really look at it from, you know, the outside looking in, so to speak, you know, are your posts telling a story or are they you or is it just salesy and ads and are you just clicking the share button and sharing other people's stuff? Review your timeline and look at your posts that you receive the most likes and the most comments on. I bet that they're not salesy at all. So they're probably pictures of you or your kids, you know, incorporate plexus into them. Tell who you are and tell about your journey. Um, go to the Facebook page of people that are successful with plexus. Scroll down and do the same thing. Look for their pictures and their posts that have the most likes and the most comments on them. Um, it makes a huge difference. People see passion when you post from your heart, so be creative. Um, you may or may not have seen the post that's floating around this week of a trial pack of Plexus Slim, and it says pick a number from 1 to 150. Have y'all seen that? Anybody? No? Okay, I'll send it to Ashley and Chris, and y'all can use this. So it's, it's one of those things that's going around our community that all of my ambassadors are sharing it. And it basically says, pick a number from one to 150 and I will do a drawing for a free, a free trial pack. And it's a nice little chunky little paragraph, but I'm seeing it shared over and over and over. Most people are getting like five or six, maybe nine, you know, comments on it. People picking numbers for the free trial pack. So I said, you know what, I'm going to do something different. So I got this neon pink post-it note and I wrote my number on it and I put my hand over it. 
And so it was very eye-catching because it was pink. Y'all, I had, let me look to make sure I'm not storing to y'all. I had 75 comments on it, and most of them were people that were not on my list of 100 and were not people that I had already talked to. So it was really awesome. So be creative. Think outside the box. What is going to draw attention to your post, okay? Something flashy, but most of the time, it's something that you take a picture of that's in your house, your home, outside where you are, or wherever you are, um, that gets people's attention. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know that live reality TV. That's why so many news, I mean, television um, stations have high ratings because most of the time their shows now are reality shows. Dancing with the Stars, it's live. People want to know what's going on. Um, you know, just all, talk shows during the day. Um, I'm not home ever during the day, so I don't get to watch them. <laughs> but I know that people always talk about the ratings, you know, so... It makes a huge difference. Face-to-face, um, -face, how many people are you ner how many of you are nervous about talking to people? Anybody here nervous about talking to people? You're, you're out and about and you see somebody and you think, I want to approach that person, but I don't really know how. Okay, so let's talk about how to make that easy. Number one, you've all heard this tip before, positive affirmations. Speak them to yourself daily. And if you find yourself in a store and you're like, gosh, I really want to talk to that person over there about Plexus, you have to say to yourself, I am a Plexus expert. People need to know about these products. If they don't, I am doing them a huge disadvantage by not sharing. People want to know what I have to say. And you know what, guys? You are an expert. If you're on this call, you know more than anybody else knows that you're talking to, especially if it's somebody brand new that's never heard of Plexus. And most of the time, even if they have, but they've not talked to somebody, they still just know it. They think it's a weight loss company. So talk to them, share with them, just like you do your favorite restaurant. And if they say no, how many of you have read the book, Rock Your Network Marketing by Sarah Robbins? If you have not, get it. Order it today. It's on Amazon for like 12 bucks. I love what she says in there about thinking like, you know, the waitress that comes around and says, can I pour you some water? And you say, no, not right now. It doesn't hurt your feelings. It doesn't hurt her feelings. There's no harm done. She may go around again. No, don't want any. She comes around the third time. You may say, yes, yes, I do want that water. Y'all, you have to think with that mentality. Okay. So, affirmations. People want to know what I have to say. People need to hear what I have to say. Um, when you think like this, you set yourself up for confidence to seal the deal. So set, your up for, set yourself up for success. Okay, this is my little show and tell. When I am out and about, whether it's at the ball game, softball game, baseball game, um, work even, I have this cool little bag that I carry on my shoulder, okay? 31, it's a tax write-off because I put Plexus on it, and it's, it's, it's always handy. So, have you ever played that game, What's in Grandma's Suitcase? <laughs> this is What's in Lisa's Suitcase. <laughs> so, number one, you want brochures. If you don't have brochures, get them ASAP. Trial packs. I'm going to pull some things out here to make this easy. Different types of brochures. This is the one that actually has all of the products on it. Now, sometimes I meet, I'm intentional when I meet with people, you know, like for lunch, and we get to talking about Plexus, and I have this bag handy, and I have this sheet blown up, and I say, I pull it out when we start talking about Plexus, and I'll say, just look at this. Does any of this reflect you? And if they pick from this list and say, yeah, this is me, this is me, this is me, then I'm like, okay, these are the products that you need. And I start talking. Also have a picture close by of yourself. If you've got a great testimony, a great story, keep a picture in there. This is worth a thousand words when you pull this out. Okay. Um, trial packs. The what if. 
Okay, and if you haven't noticed, right here is the perfect size for a business card. So you can actually glue with the glue stick your business card on there so that when you hand this out, they have it, have your information. Okay, how many of you have seen these cool little sample cards? I got these off of Etsy. They're very cheap. I just glue with a glue stick that, out of my child's school box, that. And on the back, it has my information on it. Have y'all all seen these before? Yeah? Okay. I'm not telling y'all anything you don't know. See, you're smart. <laughs> um, P96, um, cream, body cream. And then these cool little um, bags that you can buy from the dollar store. You can get them in all kinds of different colors. I think you can also order them from Etsy. Um, they're pretty cheap. And you just put a couple of sticks of Slim in there and put um, your business card in there. Okay. Do all of you have business cards? Yeah? Okay. Do any of you have a blank back-sided business card? Let me tell you why I left mine blank. Because when I go out to eat supper and the waitress is absolutely awesome and I mentioned to her that I am in a network marketing business and am always looking for people like her on my team, I can leave her tip and write a little um, note on the back of this that says, thank you for being an amazing, you know, waitress tonight or server tonight or whatever you want to say um thank you for making my family feel special tonight call me i'm always looking for people like you on my team um i love being able to write on the back of this you can also write what if this changes your life and you can leave this in places when they turn it over they're going to see that it's plexus but you can leave this i've heard of people leaving this in the slots where you put your credit card in um like at gas stations I've heard of people living, leaving this like on bathroom mirrors. Um, just be creative and think outside the box. Um, I also usually keep a bottle of water. And because I am out and about all day long and with people, I actually have some little mouthwash cups. <laughs> so I sometimes, when I'm having lunch with people or if I'm in a group of people, I'll mix up a bottle of Slim just so that they'll say, what are you mixing up? Like I said, people are nosy. They want to know what you're doing. And I'll say, oh, Plex is slim. You want to try it? Well, what's that? And then I just pull out one of these little cups and I say, here, try it and we'll talk. So it's like an on-the-spot sip and see. So those are just some of my, my bag on the go tips. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Where am I at? Business cards, hand them out to everybody, y'all. Waitresses, bank tellers, checkout clerks, um, teachers, hairdressers, anyone that interacts with people daily. All right, have y'all all heard of sip and sees? If you have, I won't go over it. But y'all all know what a sip and see is, where you meet somebody in person. Online opportunity meetings done by Zoom. Have y'all all done those? We've yeah, I know what I mean by that. More, Somebody goes uh, over the part. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay, all right, cool. All right, team challenges. I love to do this with my team on the weekends. I'll do a team challenge and give away flex of the swag or give away trial packs or something. And basically what I do is I tell them I'll post like a, um, a graphic and then I will issue a team challenge to go out and make as many contacts in person as they can. So here's what that looks like. I go into Walmart and I find somebody that I think is yawning or um, whatever. Nice, smiling, positive attitude. And I'll say, hmm. I walk up to them and I'll say, can you show me where, and I use the word show. So I'll say, can you show me where the candles are? Okay. And hopefully they will say yes. If they say no, then I probably don't want them on my team because they're not customer service oriented. But if they say yes and they take me to the candles, then I will say thank you and I will try to strike up a conversation with them on the way, you know. Um, and usually when you say, how are you today? What do most people say back? Some people will say fine, but most of the time people will say, I'm kind of tired. I'm ready to get off work, you know, blah, blah, blah. 
And that is your opportunity to say, tired, really? I take something called Plexus. What's Plexus? As Chris McCall says, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> and you can tell them about Plexus. Now, here's where the challenge comes in. What you have to do is connect with that person. So if Jessica was showing me around and we got to the candles, then I would say, Jessica, you've been so helpful and nice. Thank you. I've enjoyed talking to you. Listen, my team is doing a challenge this weekend, and we are giving out free um, samples of Plexus Slim, and the only thing I have to do is connect with you on Facebook, take a picture of you holding your sample, and tag you in it, and um, and I get credit. Do you mind doing that for me? And most of the time, they will say, oh, cool, I won something. I never win anything, and so you snap a picture with them first. You pull up your Facebook, you don't wait for them and you say, how do you spell your name? And you find them and you say, okay, there's three or four, which one is you? And then you send them a friend request right there on spot and you tell them, I'm going to go ahead and post this to Facebook because they don't want to see that you've posted their picture on Facebook and what it looks like. Okay. And you're going to say, so I'm, you know, as soon as you accept my friend request, I'm going to tag you in it. Okay. And then you're going to follow up with them and you're basically going to, you know, strike up a relationship with them. Now, sometimes that works right away. Most of the time it does not. So what you have to do is start planting seeds, okay? Send the Chris McCall video that everyone is sending. Send the what makes us different, um, the network marketing, you know. Um, start planting seeds with them and make sure you write their name down so that you don't forget them a month from now, okay? Um, all right, so as you recruit people and you build your business, um, there are two other things that I think will add value to your business, and that is belief and setting goals, okay? People need belief. Your, your potentials need belief, and your team needs belief. Um, as, as you build belief in your team, there's a couple of things that I've shared already with Chris and Ashley. One thing that we do on our team is we do a spreadsheet. So what, what have y'all done that already, Ashley? Have y'all talked about this? We have not yet. With your team? No, they don't know about it. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. All right. So I've shared with them a spreadsheet that my team did. What we do is we post a, a graphic in the team page that says post your testimony before. What Plexus has helped you with? So for me, it was PCOS, allergies, sleeping better. Um, I've got some people that have had kidney, um, not kidney failure, but have had help with their kidneys. I've had people help with fibromyalgia, with arthritis issues. I mean, reflux, the, issue, the, the list goes on and on. So what you do is you create a spreadsheet based on this, and it tells all the products at the top, and then their names down the side, and what Plexus has helped them with, and it checks off what products. So as your new person comes in, when Jessica says, um, I need to know somebody that, um, sorry y'all, I need to know um, if there's anybody who has a testimony on acid reflux. Well, all she has to do is go to that pinned post at the top of the page, click on it, the spreadsheet opens up, look at that sweet baby. <laughs> and then she's able to look right then and see. And she's able to say, oh, Erica has a testimony on reflux. So I can put Erica in a three-way chat or message Erica and see if she can do a three-way phone call. Some sort of third-party validation because third-party validation is huge for having a successful business. Mm -hmm. So if you can create right away a tool that will help people connect, then it's a lot easier for them to do that third-party validation than without it, okay? Um, we also do a, um, a team spotlight at least once a month, okay? And I use an app called Ripple, R or, yeah, R-I-P-L. I don't know if y'all have heard of that or not, but really cute little way to do graphics and um, slideshows and things. And so I will get that person to basically type up their testimony, 
then I will go in and kind of fluff it up just a little bit without altering the testimony and then post it in the team page with a slideshow. So if they've had a great, great weight loss success story before and after pictures, if it has been um, like I've got one girl on my team that had hives and food allergies. And so her before and after pictures of hives and no hives and weight loss has just been huge. So that helps build belief, especially with your new people coming in. Wow, look at these amazing testimonies, okay? Um, and then we also do a hashtag in all of our spotlights and on the spreadsheet so that when you type in that hashtag in our team page, it automatically pulls up all of the spotlights at that time along with that um, spreadsheet. So three-way chats, phone calls, Zooms with at least three people like you, like you do a sip and see. Um, and meeting in person, y'all, is huge, 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 huge. Um, the last tip that I have for tonight is setting goals and writing them down. Um, my husband laughs every time he comes in my office because I have sticky notes everywhere in my office. So if my goal is to have three new ambassadors, six new ambassadors, ten new ambassadors, I actually have ten sticky notes on my wall. And every time I get someone, I go up there and I write their name down. And um, sometimes they move to a customer spot. Sometimes they move to a later spot. <laughs> but most of the time, as long as I have my goals written down and in front of me where I can see them, not tucked in a drawer somewhere, not in a notebook that I never opened, but somewhere visible and, and right there in front of me, I hit my goals. Um, it, it's just... You know, it's goal setting and being in front of you. So I know it's not a lot of information, <laughs> but um, those are just some quick tips that I put together for you guys. No, Lisa, that is amazing. I love how you give like the real Anything? practical things that you can just go do right now tips. Um, right. And I, I agree, like most of us write our goals and then we put it in a planner somewhere and then we close it and don't look. So I right. put mine on a colorful sheet of paper and I put it on my fridge. And so mm -hmm. I'll put, okay, mine usually is three, there you go. And three customers. So whatever you can do to your, your phone saver, like the screen saver, put something there that motivates right. you. Like right. maybe it's your why, maybe it's your kids, right. you know, maybe it's that Lexus, maybe, you know, whatever yeah. it is that drives you. Would you share real quick? And that was actually really good. Yeah. And we're almost times up, but, um, I loved your idea of what you do for salons, like the little basket. Oh, the little baskets. Yeah. So you go to the dollar store and just get like a little dollar basket and, um, you know, put like some trial packets in it. Um, sometimes I'll do a mason jar and drop like just some slim sticks in it. And um, are you talking about the one where, because I've done a couple of different ones, but getting like a box and wrapping it with like pink, colorful, sparkly paper, um, having them drop their name in it, and then you're able to get their contact information. Um, so it's kind of like a little raffle thing or, you know, trial packs they can buy there. Um, I've done it a couple of different ways. So now I can't remember which way you're talking about, Ashley. <laughs> good because I was getting I'm getting my hair done next week so I was thinking about that yeah. but I think it would be a good way to open yeah. the conversation to the stylist as well that work there because I mean yeah absolutely they would be the best um yeah you can do something as simple as a mason jar and drop you know or a pretty little dish or something and drop sl slim samples in it um or some trial packs and a basket um but anything just to kind of get attention and get your name out there. And, you know, I actually had um, a, a salon, a hair salon girl sign up, a stylist sign up by doing that. Awesome. And now she's rocking her pink drink and she's been doing it for two months and now she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. I think half of our team is pregnant or just had a baby. <laughs> I know it's a lot of <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have a question? Cool. Please unmute yourself. Bottom left. Don't be shy. I was trying to look at my notes. I was taking notes like a mad woman there. I know we do these Friday calls. 
sometimes with our um, Emerald group. And I've got so many good ones from you. Yeah. Thank you. We do, um, you know, one thing that I do with my team and, and my close, like, inner circle is we do a Saturday morning coffee talk, which is kind of like our Friday call. And we just talk and bond and share ideas and brainstorm. And a lot of things that are, you know, that I share on Fridays come from that. You know, when we do it every two weeks so that everybody has a break on a Saturday to do what they want to. But we do it early. We do it at like 730 in the morning so that everybody has their whole day. But those calls are so powerful and they're team bonding. You know, um, I think we talked about our teens and how far apart, you know, they're spread. And so it's just an easy way to make that happen. So I love that idea. All right. I love connecting. So, yeah, if anyone has questions, you can message me and I can bring it to Lisa. Um, I love yeah. when you said do something uncomfortable, you know, get vulnerable on your Facebook posts. And, you know, those are amazing tips. So I know it's late. It's 930 for you. So we'll let you go. And thank you so yeah. much. That was All amazing. All right. Y'all have a great night. All right. Thank you all for having me. Bye. Bye.